السلام عليكم ready okay you may like to introduce yourself uh, sir i am mayra mudassir i hail from rawalpindi my father is a hospitality manager and my mother is a retired army officer i have done bachelor's in physiotherapy from rifa international university uh, currently i am running a digital marketing agency which mainly provides services to uh, youtube services to international clients apart from these formal details uh i believe i am a determined uh, hard working and passionate being in my free time i enjoy traveling cooking and uh, currently i also have uh, developed an uh, interest towards understanding the scientific interpretation of quran this would be all about myself interview kab hai aapka sir 10th of november so you have done the doctor of physiotherapy Yes, sir. Just introduce the subject of physiotherapy to all of us. I don't know much about it. Tell us what it is. So, physiotherapy is a allied uh, medical health uh, course uh, which focuses on movement and the issues related with movement. It focuses on uh, motion related rehabilitation for the patients. Usually, the uh, targeted population of physiotherapy are uh, geriatric patients or the Uh, patients of stroke or any other neuro or muscular issues so you are aspiring to become a civil servant in the government of pakistan yes, tell us what do you know about pakistan introduce pakistan to all of us so pakistan is a uh, an islamic country in the south asian region and uh, it has a beautiful landscape <clears throat> from the northern areas in pakistan to the coastal areas of the uh karachi or the balochistan and the sind coastal belt uh, it has many tourist location apart from this um it has four provinces and uh, which makes it a blend of uh, different cultures and languages um mostly uh, the most dominant culture in pakistan is uh, punjabi which in uh, most of the people live in punjab apart from this um the political setup of pakistan is that it is a federal um it is a federal parliament it has a federal parliamentary system whereby the power is distributed between the center and the pro, and the four constituent provinces what do you see in the next 5 year about yourself where you will be uh so i see myself as a civil servant serving pakistan either at the grassroots level or in a, and representing pakistan at the international level what is your understanding of hybrid war the fifth generation warfare you are dealing with a digital working the digital digital agency uh, sir so the fifth generation warfare is the um, new non conventional sort of warfare whereby uh, apart from the military uh, aspects other other aspects of warfare for example information uh, information war and the digital war are being uh, fought between different countries um in the in the fifth generation warfare the focus is mostly on the um digital arena the cyber cyber crimes or cyber warfare an example would be the um, indian indian propaganda which was exposed by the uh, eu disinformation lab that india has been uh, disseminating propaganda against pakistan for the past 15 years this is a form of um, fourth generation warfare that has been occurring how do you see the future of democracy in pakistan democracy has struggled a lot in the uh, past in pakistan however i see a comparatively brighter future uh, of democracy the reason the reasons for this would be that uh, pakistan has uh, there have been some positive developments in this regard the first one would be the um, the first one would be the improved or the uh, improved uh, um, political conscience of the youth um, the youth has been away from the political uh, has not been politically socialized for a long time however in the past 2 or 3 years we have seen that youth is getting more and more involved productively in the political 
landscape apart from that uh, the our the judicial system is also um, um, is also playing a more responsible role in the democratic setup of the country and uh, we have also seen uh, the government of uh, PPP and PMLN complete its five years course and uh, such other uh, we, I I feel that uh, the next government whichever it would be would also be able to complete its um, five year course and it would be uh, better for the democracy of Pakistan. Thank you. Oh, sir. What are bureaucratic rigmaroles? Um, I'm not aware of that. I don't know. Red tapism. Uh, so red tapism is the uh, concept. Uh, red tapism is the delay in the working of a government due to uh, prolonged procedures and uh, complicated policies. And uh, this, unfortunately, red tapism is uh, quite uh, prevalent in Pakistan's uh, bureaucracy and civil service and public offices as a whole. And there is a need to reduce red tapism in uh, the government machinery so that proper and efficient service delivery can be done. What is the role of the foreign service officers when they are posted abroad? Um, so the foreign service officers when they are posted abroad are mainly responsible for presenting a positive image of Pakistan. And uh, they, apart from this, they are also responsible for, um, for uh, attracting foreign direct investment and uh, resolving the <coughs> issues between Pakistan and the country in which they are posted. Can you name any uh, foreign minister, any women foreign minister of Pakistan? Um, ambassador, ambassador, foreign ambassador. Uh, so one would be Maliha Lodhi. And, uh, was she a diplomat? She was okay, ambassador. Okay, one is Maliha Lodhi and who, what else? Um, so I can't recall any other at the moment. How do you foresee the post-election results, the forthcoming elections which are going to be held in January or February? What do you foresee? What will be the results like? Uh, so there are, there have been, uh, the process for the election has been started and uh, currently uh, delimitations are being done and there are reservations regarding the, that there is some sort of uh, that the delimitations are not being done uh, fairly. There, there are suspicions of uh, gerrymandering in it. So maybe uh, when the results will come out, as we have seen in the past also, also that whichever party <coughs> loses uh, is uh, um, inclined towards uh, some is inclined towards protesting against the election results. So um, maybe I I see that maybe uh, this would occur again in this instance that um, the party which would be in power would be opposed by the uh, opposition on grounds of the election election results being rigged on. How do you see the role of NAB in our country? Has it brought the corruption levels down? Uh, sir, NAB is a, an anti-corruption um, institute of Pakistan, uh, but it has, it has been uh, Sir, I believe it has not been very um, successful in bringing the corruption levels down in Pakistan. Uh, it has been alleged that NAB, uh, the services of NAB sometimes are biased and um, they are, there is a, some sort of political victimization in the uh, process of, uh, in NAB's processes. So um, I feel that it has not been able to National Action Plan, has it been fully implemented? The next National Action Plan uh, was a plan to approve uh, terrorism from the country. Uh, it, there have been uh, many positive developments with respect to the National Action Plan and uh, it has been quite successful in uh, uprooting terrorism from the uh, northwestern areas of Pakistan. Um, there has been a revival of TTP after the uh, resurgence of Afghan, uh, Afghani Talib, after the power after Taliban co coming into power in Afghanistan. Uh, but overall, the, uh, the situation of terrorism in country has uh, reduced a lot. Last question is uh, you, <coughs> optional subject in 
environmental science is your option subject. So as a deputy commissioner, what will you do to improve the, the state of environment in your district? Uh, so environmental degradation and climate change uh, have been affecting Pakistan uh, drastically and uh, we, uh, as a deputy commissioner, I can uh, focus on implementing the policies which have uh, the which have been made with regards to the environmental issues. Uh, for example, if there is uh, a pol for example, if there is a policy related to um, no problem. Pro uh, perfectionism, you say, is your weakness. Why perfect? To be perfect, what's wrong with that? Sir, it makes me procrastinate a lot. Um, I tend to um, give too much time to a specific specific thing, and uh, I believe it makes me slower. And it your strength is adaptability, where you can adapt. Why you uh, then uh, procrastinate? If if you can adapt, you can avoid being procrastination. Uh, sir, my. Uh, uh, by adaptability, my, I meant that I uh, can adapt in an environment, in a new environment when I go there and I can interact with people from different, I have been interacting with people from different cultures, so it makes me more adaptable with respect to that, with respect to people, interacting with people. However, when it comes to doing something on my own, I tend to uh, procrastinate a lot sometimes. Welcome to CSP's Academy for CSS PMS Preparation. CSSPMS तहरीरी इम्तिहान के तमाम मजामीन की ऑनलाइन और ऑन कैंपस तैयारी के साथ साथ सब्जेक्ट सिलेक्शन असाइनमेंट चेकिंग क्लास टेस्ट मॉक एग्जाम इंडिविजुअल टीचर डिस्कशन और फीडबैक सेशन का इनका किया जाएगा इसके अलावा एफ पी एस सी की तजवीज करदा बुक से बने मैारी नोट और सी एस पी पब्लिशर की बेहतरीन बुक्स मुहैया की जाएंगी What is the difference between High Commission and Embassy? So, uh, High Commission and, and Embassy are represent, uh, representatives of Pakistan or any country in uh, an, in a foreign country. The difference lies in that an, um, uh, a High Commissioner is a, a representative of in the Commonwealth countries. However, uh, the Ambassador is a representative of any other country apart from the Commonwealth countries. Is the map uh, the part for Commonwealth? Uh, no, sir, it is not. What is NFC award and which article of the constitution cover this one? Uh, so the NFC award is the um, financial plan which distributes the power uh, between the center and the provinces. And, and which also article of the constitution cover this one? Uh, so it's article 160. 160. What are the three major reasons of failure of uh, 1956 constitution of Pakistan? Uh, so the 1956 constitution, so the failure of the 1956 constitution was uh, due to the um, grievances between the East Pakistan and the West Pakistan. The representation of these two was based uh, was based on the principle of parity, which uh, this is reason number one. And what is reason number two? So reason number two. Many people believe that the Lucknow Pact was the first step toward the creation of Pakistan. Uh, uh, yes, sir, sir. Lucknow Pact was a joint um, Congress, uh, joint effort by Congress and Muslim League to demand for, to put their demands for for the uh, Britishers. It is seen as the first step towards the creation of Pakistan because uh, in this the Congress uh, recognized Muslim League as a, an equal entity as a representative of the Muslims of the uh, subcontinent. So that is why it is seen as uh, the first step towards the... So what is the difference between nominal and PP GDP growth? Uh, so I'm not aware of it. And uh, my last question is that you have said that your favorite personality is Hazrat Ali, Raziella, Anho and Nelson Mandela. What is the common traits among these two personalities? Uh, so both of these personalities fought against oppression and uh, injustice in the society and um, both of them had this trait of perseverance and uh, um, 
perseverance and uh, the quality of being brave so uh, for the nelson mandela fought against the um, white supremacist in the africa while uh, hazrat ali razi tala anhu he fought against the um, he fought against the uh, factions of the society which were trying to um, bring about civil disorder in the country for example the uh, war of the uh, uh, war he fought against moria sure. thank you well myra i'll ask question related to your option subject well first i'll ask which one is your favorite subject amongst your option uh, sir political science can you tell what sort of federation pakistan is um sir pakistan is a, a parliamentary a federal pakistan has a parliamentary federal system and uh, in it the, uh, by parliamentary i mean that the uh, organs of the government are uh, interlinked with each other the head of state and the head of government are two different uh, institutions in the parliamentary system and uh, um, the division of power is between the central and the uh, four constituent uh, provinces ओके सेंट्रिपिटल फोर्सेस वाला फेडरेशन है या सेंट्री फ्यूगल फोर्सेस वाला फेडरेशन है पाकिस्तान सर आई बिलीव इट्स अ सेंट्रिपिटल इट इज अ फेडरेशन ऑफ अ सेंट्रिपिटल फोर्सेस ओके अरेस्टोटल ही क्लासिफाइड डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ स्टेट्स कैन यू रिकॉल दोस क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ स्टेट्स एंड टेल व्हिच टाइप ऑफ स्टेट इज हिज फेवरेट फेवरेट स्टेट सर अरेस्टोटल डिवाइडेड द states into uh, six uh, mm-hmm. divided it into six different sorts of states it was based uh, there were two uh, um, criteria for it first one was if the government was working for the benefit of the people or for itself and uh, second was based on the quantity of the people uh, of quantity of the governing uh, body so he divided uh, the good st- states or the good governments for him were the um, um polity and uh, aristocracy um and monarchy and the bad ones were tyranny um democracy and i can't remember the name of the third one uh, but it was a perverted form of the um, okay what is the relation between rule of law and political philosophy of aristotle um sir aristotle is was a constitutionalist he upheld the rule of law as compared to his um, predecessor plato who was more uh, uh, who was more authoritative in his um, approach so he um, aristotle uh, said that it the uh, the state should be governed through a set body of laws uh, or which is which could be a constitution and this way his uh, philosophy relates to the rule of law principle in rousseau's political philosophy he proposed an idea of noble savage noble savage and uh, this idea is very central to his political philosophy can you elaborate this okay uh, you read the uh, us history can you tell me the stance of anti federalists toward the formulation of us constitution uh, so the anti federalist um were the uh, were, were, was one of the factions uh, during the formation of the constitution uh, they they were opposing the formation of a new constitution as a whole and they were uh, they wanted the power to be um, to lie with the provinces as compared to uh, to lie with the constituent units as compared to the uh, center they wanted a weak center apart from this they also wanted the rights of the um, constituent units to be Uh, safeguarded okay if i ask in uh, present day american political parties which party you see as a anti federalist and which you see is a federalist so the current uh, government biden uh, which belongs to the democratic i believe they are more of they have more of a anti federalistic nature and the republicans uh, from which trump uh, donald trump belongs is more of a federalist form of government because the federalist or the uh, democrats today uh, the republicans today they want more uh, centralized ibrahim, ibrahim lincoln belongs to which political party um, so he belonged to the federalist party federalist so because he won 
What would you will say? Um, uh, 1947 to 1956, Pakistan ruled by a constitution. What was that constitution? Um, so the constitution was uh, the 1935 Act, uh, which um, came in 1935. However, the, the um, after until the formulation of a new constitution, uh, the 1935 Act was to be followed as a, a preliminary. Okay. What is principle of parity? So the principle of parity uh, pertains that the in the subcontinent, uh, uh, the, sorry, uh, before the formation of the constitution, the East and West Pakistan had different populations and. Uh, area but the principle of parity, parity gave them equal seats in the central legislature so this was called the central, uh, principle of parity what is difference between legislative council and a constitu uh, constitutional assembly constitutional assembly and legislative assembly uh, so the constitutional uh, the constitutional assembly was responsible for forging out a constitution for uh, pakistan at that time it also had the uh, it, it also acted at the legislative body of the country on the other hand the legislative council is the um, body which makes the laws to govern uh, which makes laws to govern the country my last question when day of deliverance celebrated so i think it's 22nd of december 1939 okay thank you चलिए लेट्स कंक्लूड इट लेट्स कंक्लूड दिस फॉर्मूले में चलें आप अपनी सेल्फ असेसमेंट करें एक से दस के स्केल में कितने नंबर देंगे अपने आप को अराउंड थ्री फोर मायरा देखो बात ये है कि दिस इज ए इवेंट ऑफ लाइफ ठीक है ना एंड आई एम लुक नाइस टू मी दैट यू आर डीपीटी एंड यू हैव मेड इट दीज आर डिफरेंट सब्जेक्ट देन वट यू हैव रेड इन योर डिग्री कोर्स ठीक है तो यू हैव गॉट ए नाइस पर्सनैलिटी कम्युनिकेशन स्किल यू आर गुड इंटेलिजेंट हो कॉन्फिडेंट भी हो तो हो बट कॉन्फिडेंस कम विद नॉलेज सेटिंग पोस्टर इज फाइन वॉइस इम्पैक्ट आपका ठीक है टोन आपकी स्लो है बट इट्स इज फाइन अब देर आर सर्टन गैप्स एक तो नॉलेज गैप बहुत विजिबल है ठीक है ना दूसरा ये है कि कब है इंटरव्यू टेंथ ऑफ नवम्बर चलो यू हैव वॉट टेन ट्वेल्व डेज थोड़ी सी हिम्मत करो एक तो न्यूज़पेपर के उठा लो पिछले एक महीने के उन सब की नेशनल इंटरनेशनल न्यूज़ देखो और सोशल इश्यूज को टच करो पाकिस्तान के बारे में क्या कहते हैं ठीक है बेसिकली नोटबुक होनी चाहिए आपके पास है कोई इंटरव्यू के लिए बनाई हुई है नहीं जी सर आई एम ट्राइंग टू लंबी चौड़ी नहीं होती इंटरव्यू के लिए जो पावर पॉइंट होते हैं ना प्रेजेंटेशन वैसे पॉइंट बना लेते हैं एनर्जी क्राइसिस इन पाकिस्तान वन टू थ्री फोर पॉइंट बस ताकि आप उनको आप एक्सप्लेन कर सकें ठीक है तो इंट्रोडक्शन को वन पेजर बनाओ ऑब्जेक्टिव लिखो सब्जेक्टिव बातें ना करें ऑब्जेक्टिविटी दिस इज ए जॉब इंटरव्यू ठीक है मैंने मतलब यू वन थिंग इज वेरी क्लियर यू हैव डन वेरी गुड बाई डूइंग दिस एग्जाम अब तुम्हारे जो है ना वो एटी परसेंट तुम्हारा इंटरव्यू इन्हीं चीज़ों में से होगा जो तुमने खुद लिख के दिए ठीक है अब अब तुम कहते हो अडोप्टेबिलिटी भी है गुड लिस्टनर भी हो वीकनेसेस भी तुमने आइडेंटिफाई किए हुए तो दे विल डिस्कस ऑल दिस थिंग सब्जेक्ट आपके यही है दिस इज वॉट यू हैव रिटन तो यू हैव गॉट ए गुड चांस लेकिन तैयारी कर लो ठीक है ना थोड़ी सी हिम्मत करो आठ घंटे रोजाना बैठ के इन्वेस्ट करो टाइम अपना आप सर नॉलेज गैप बहुत है आपका कोशिश करें इसको इम्प्रूव करने की इसको गैप गैप को ख़त्म करें बल्कि आप ऐसे करें जो हमने सवाल आपको किए तो इसी को ही जाकर आप अगर रिवाइज कर लें देख लें इसके आंसर्स को तो हो सकता है वो आपको बेनिफिट दे आप बहस आपने लिखी हुई है डिप्टी कमिश्नर का वो जो है आपको आ, कुछ नहीं पता उसके बारे में इसी तरह और भी इसी तरह ही है ये दूसरा तो, तो आप बताना चाहिए कि आप क्या करते हैं नॉर्मली क्या करते हैं प्लांटेशन करते हैं अच्छा बेटे एक दो और भी बातें एक तो ना अभी आपके पास बहुत टाइम पड़ा है जो है 
ٹویلو ٹو تھرٹین ڈیز ان آف ٹائم میں اور غالباً وہ ڈے اسلام آباد کا آخری ڈے ہوگا فیز ون کا تو ابھی بہت ٹائم پڑھیں اچھے طریقے سے پڑھ لو ان چیزوں پہ پڑھیں جو کچھ جیسے سر نے کہا ہے کہ ایف ایس پی ابھی تو آپ سے حیرار کی نہیں پوچھی کہ فرسٹ سیکٹری کیا ہوتا ہے تھرڈ سیکٹری کیا ہوتا ہے پی ایس پھر ان کی ایشوز کے ہیں ان کی ریفارمس کون کون سی ہوئی ہیں یہ چیزیں پڑھ لیں مکہ ان شاء اللہ آپ بڑی کانفیڈینٹ ہیں یو ول ڈو ویری ویل آپ کا نالج گیپ جو بہت ویزیبل ہے اب یہ جو چند ڈیز ہیں نا ان میں ایک نوٹ بک بنا کے نا جن کا ان کا سرفیس نالج کے پوائنٹس لکھنے ہیں آپ نے اور خود ہی کوشچن ڈیز بنا کے خود ہی اس کا آنسر دینا ہے ون ورڈ آنسر کرنا ہے تاکہ آپ کے پاس ایک آبجیکٹیو اپروچ ہو آنسر کرنے کی تاکہ آپ کے پاس سرفیس نالج سب کا ہو آپ آنسر کر سکتے ہیں اپنے ریٹرن کوالیفائی کیا ہوا ہے دیٹ مینس کہ اب آپ دس نو نومبر کو آپ کا یا دس نومبر کو ٹینتھ آف نومبر یو ہیو انف ٹائم تو ان چیزوں کو نالج کے گیپ کو آپ نے ختم کرنا ہے برج کرنا ہے ان چیزوں کو تھوڑا سا آپ نالج گیپ کم کریں اور ایک اپنا امپیکٹ جو ہے اپنی پرسنالٹی کا وہ ایک تھوڑا سا بہتر کریں ٹھیک ہے تھینک یو ٹھیک ہے چلیں بیسٹ آف لک تھینک یو تھینک یو سر